Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's uh, daily market review for February the 12th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our uh, disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the, the rest. Okay then, uh, what am I going to talk about today is uh, the continuation of uh, the rally in equities with DAX, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ hitting new record highs. I'm going to discuss about, uh, I'm going to talk about the testimony of H.R. Powell um, yesterday before the, housing financial co the House Financial Committee. I will discuss the outcome of the RBNZ uh, meeting we had today during the, the Asian morning. I will also talk about uh, the Riksbank decision which uh, comes out in a while, Eurozone Industrial Production, Energy Information Administration Weekly Report. We also have, an, uh, we also have Powell testifying again before the Senate Banking Committee and apart, apart from him we also have three more speakers. Now, as usual, let's start with the performance, the performance of the US uh, dollar against the other G10 currencies. Here we can see that uh, the dollar traded lower against all but two of the other G10 currencies on Tuesday and during the Asian morning Wednesday. It underperformed the, mo the most against the Kiwi, the Pound and NOC with the Kiwi taking the first place by a large margin after the RBNZ rate decision, uh, something we will uh, discuss in a while. Uh, the greenback was found virtually unchanged against uh, the Euro and the Yen. Now even though not clear by the performance of the G10s, the weakening of the Yen suggests that uh, market appetite remains supported Indeed, if uh, we look uh, at, the performance, at the performance of uh, major equity indices, we see that the EU and US ones were a sea of green, with the German DAX, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ hitting new record highs. The optimism uh, rolled over into the Asian session uh, today as well, with Japan's Nikkei and China's Shanghai Composite uh, indices gaining um, 0.74 and 0.87 percent uh, respectively. It seems that uh, risk appetite intensified yesterday after a Chinese medical advisor said that the number of new coronavirus cases has started falling in some provinces, forecasting that the virus could peak this month and end by April. Indeed, uh, looking at the, graph, uh, at the graph here, we can see that the percentage change of the cases in any given day compared to the cases of the previous one has been falling below zero more often this month, with the last uh, two days uh, staying into the negative territory, which means that the cases may have started slowing down. This graph uh, in this graph, anything above uh, zero shows acceleration, meaning that uh, the cases have been expanding at, a, at an exponential rate, while anything below zero shows a slowdown, that the new cases are less than the cases recorded the previous day. So investors may have uh, been aware of the slowdown in cases, and that's why they 
they added to their risk risks uh, their risk exposure however taking uh, the same taking the same graph for the deaths we see that yesterday was the first day marked by a slowdown up until yesterday the death toll had been rising at, at an exponential pace you see the line here being above zero consistently and it had returned doing so as we believe that uh, a more stable a more stable slowdown in deaths may come with a lack compared to the cases so the cases have ta have started to show decent size of slowdown but uh, with regards to the deaths we only have one day slowing down and we believe that um, a stable slowdown may come with a lag compared to the cases. What's more, among the 39 262 currently infected patients, the condition of 8,216 is considered is considered serious or critical. Thus, the number of deaths could uh, could increase well beyond the 1,000 mark. Currently, we have 1,115 deaths. So, in our view. It depends from which angle you want to see things. In cases with an outcome, 81% of the patients was uh, recovered or, uh, or discharged, while the deaths account uh, for, uh, for uh, 19%. Investors prefer to see the bright side at the moment, with the slowdown suggesting that we may be nearing the peak. That said, even if the optimism continues for a while more and equities keep rising, we prefer to take a more cautious stance and see things day by day instead of getting excited over a long-lasting rally. After all, the risks surrounding any reaction to fresh headlines may be asymmetrical and tilted to the downside. Anything pointing uh, that the cases and deaths have begun to accelerate have begun to accelerate again may trigger a notable sell off in equities as well as uh, in uh, risk linked currencies as investors will abandon them and seek for safety in assets uh, like the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. Now, in case the slowdown continues, investors may continue adding to their uh, risk exposure but not at the same pace as uh, before. Now, passing the ball to Fed to Fed Chair Jerome Powell in his testimony before the House Financial Committee of the U.S. Congress. He said that the U.S. economy is in a good place and reiterated the view that the current target range of interest rates is, is appropriate to keep uh, the expansion on track. However, he added that the new coronavirus will impact the Chinese economy and its close trading partners and that there will and that there will very likely be some effects uh, on uh, the United States as well. On whether these effects uh, could lead to a material reassessment of uh, the economic outlook, he said that uh, it is too early to know. The dollar traded lower, perhaps due to Powell highlighting some concerns with regards to the virus, or maybe due to the improvement in uh, the broader market sentiment. Let's not forget that sometimes the US currency wears its uh, safe haven suit, strengthening during market turbulence and weakening in periods of uh, broader optimism. In any case, investors barely adjusted their bets uh, with regards to the Fed's uh, future policy steps, still anticipating another 25 basis point rate cut to be, to be delivered in September. Again, I have the graph of the yields of the Fed fund futures. This is the current rate and a 25 uh, basis points rate decrease is still priced in for uh, September. Now, with regards to the RBNZ decision, uh, we had uh, the decision was announced uh, during the Asian morning today, with the bank uh, keeping rates at the record low of one percent, but delivering a much more sanguine statement than previously. Officials noted that uh, employment is at or slightly above its uh, maximum sustainable level, while consumer price inflation is close to the 2% midpoint of their target range. They also assumed that the overall impact of the coronavirus in domestic economy will be, uh, will be of a short duration and that uh, growth is expected to accelerate over the second half of 2020. 
on a more important note they removed uh, the phrasing saying that they will add further monetary stimulus if needed and just said that monetary policy has time to adjust if needed as more information becomes available with uh, regards to the quarterly monetary policy statement officials upgraded their inflation and employment forecasts while the, their uh, rate pro projections for this year were revised up to 1% from 0.9% removing the likelihood of uh, for a potential uh, rate decrease at the press conference uh, when asked over whether uh, an insurance cut was discussed uh, due to the virus governor Orr said that uh, at this point we didn't see a need for a cut in the overnight cash rate with regards to a specific event the kiwi skyrocketed on the rbnz uh, more upbeat than expected uh, view especially with official scaling back uh, chances of a rate cut now, moving ahead, uh, we expect Kiwi traders to turn attention back to developments surrounding the broader market environment. So, if indeed investors are willing to continue adding to their, to their uh, risk exposures uh, for a while more, the Kiwi may drift somewhat higher. However, as we already noted, any headline suggesting that the worst with regards to the virus is not behind us yet could bring the currency under renewed uh, selling interest. Now, as uh, for the rest of today's events, uh, during the European morning, we have another central bank uh, deciding on interest rates, and this is Sweden's uh, Riksbank. At its uh, last meeting for 2019, the world's oldest uh, central bank decided to hike rates by 25 basis points to 0%, becoming the first bank to abandon the negative rate regime after adopting it back in 2015. Officials also noted that the rate is expected to stay at 0% in the coming years, but they added that uh, if the economic outlook and inflation prospects were to change, monetary policy may need to be adjusted. Both uh, the CPI and CPIF rates for December held steady at uh, 1.8 and 1.7% respectively, while the core CPIF rate, which excludes energy, has ticked down to 1.7 percent year over year from 1.8 percent uh, previously in our view this suggests that we are unlikely to get any major changes neither in policy neither in the bank's uh, language thus this may be one of the quiet meetings of the bank in terms of uh, reaction in the swedish krona now later in the day the only noteworthy indicators uh, on the agenda is Eurozone's industrial production for December and the Energy Information Administration weekly report on crude oil inventories. Eurozone's industrial production is uh, forecast to slide 1.5% month over month after a 0.2 increase in November, something that would drive the year over year rate down to minus 2.3% from minus 1.5%. With regards to the Energy Information Admi Administration report, it is expected to show a 0 0.557 million uh, barrels slide after a decline of 1.512 million the week before. Nonetheless, bearing in mind that the American Petroleum Institute reported a 6, uh, a 6 million barrels increase, we see the risks surrounding the Energy Information Administration forecast as uh, tilted to the upside. Now, as for the speakers, apart from, apart from Fed Chair Powell, who will deliver his testimony again, but now before the Senate Banking Committee, we have three more central bank chiefs speaking during the Asian morning Thursday. Those are RBNZ Governor Orr, we will get to hear from him again, while later we will uh, hear from Bank of Canada Governor Polos and RBA Governor uh, Lowe. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and uh, listening. I hope you have a great day uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week uh, much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I am holding every Monday at uh, 8 o'clock a.m. Uh, GMT. Goodbye.